cool kid. I didn't expect to be making a video so soon. But here we are. So enjoy. Oh boy. I'm going to grab my knife toy. And we're going to begin our exploration into the world of mail. So that seller that sent me the package that was ripped has prevented me from bidding on any further lots. And, uh, you know, honestly, this, I, I don't know. This leads me to believe that they think I'm lying to them. And, uh, it's honestly irritating. Um, I bought from them before too. So it's like, eh, people get emotional about stuff. The thing is, tape your stuff to the envelope, dude. Tape your stuff to the envelope. Anyway, I got three packages here in today. Let's see what we got. We got one really exciting package coming, guys. It's from uh, Germany. And it's going to be a game changer if it comes in. <laughs> you know. All right, right off the bat, we got a really cool package. I got this for 31 bucks shipped. Um, it's an ASE. The listing had it as the H.E. Harris coin, not an ASE. Uh, what year are you? 2020. What a fine year for ASEs. So there you go, guys. And... Uh, so yeah, that's in a holder. Um, and I wager I can open this holder, but the coin looks legit to me. I don't need it's. This is 100% real. I know what they look like, but you know, what have you? That one's uh, legit. Now, if I see something funny, I test it, right? That coin's colors right. All the designs are great. We know that coin. All right, next up, this one's from. Where are you from? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, this is uh, very old, very cool. I paid thirteen dollars for this. I remember this one. This is a uh, one twenty-four taller from sixteen twenty-two Brandenburg. I remember when I used to sword fight, they had the Brandenburg. There you see 124th right there in the middle. And uh, yeah, BR. And <laughs> this coin is, uh, I paid $13 for it, so. And it's from 1622. Let's see if we can see that date on here somewhere. The shield goes like this. And... I think the date's right there. 22, you can kind of make out. But I could be wrong. Let's look at the front. Sometimes these coins are hard to see. Oh, there it is. 2-2. Two, two. I think that's it. Of course, that could be ZZ, but I think it's 2-2. Two, two. Anyway, uh, yeah, old Hammer Time coin for 13 bucks from Brandenburg. Pretty well worn. I remember exactly what I paid for it because I put in an offer. They wanted like 20 bucks for it, and I said, I'll give you 13 uh, I've been hanging out in that silver forum on Discord for German coins too long, is what happened. This one's from Brendanton, Florida. 
see what we ordered from Florida. Okay. And we got some cool stuff coming in, guys. Like I said. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, I might have overpaid for one of these, but I got the other one in a really good clip, so... And all these are numismatic purchases, though. And they're all from the same seller. So this one is from Prussia. It's an 18th century coin. And again, hanging out with the wrong crowd got me into. <laughs> so this is uh, kind of a follow-up to that coin I bought at the coin show. Uh, 1803, four Gruber's. Gru Gruber's, Gru something like that. Uh, they're gonna hate me. Uh, but anyway, it's a uh, pretty cool coin. Groschen, that's what it is. Four Groschens. And uh, there it is. Hell, you know this one's worn. We can we can break it out of there. You know, I like to take the old coinage. Now this is about 50% silver, guys. Now the reverse is actually in decent shape. It's the obverse that's troublesome. But um, 1803. And it's Frederick Wilhelm III. King of Prussia. And like I said, the, the obverse is beat up, but the reverse is not so bad. So, And I got this uh, real cheap. It was like six bucks. So, Silver and it's only worth two. So it's three times melt. So <laughs> don't, don't, get, don't kid yourselves, guys. I didn't get these under melt. No. Nope. This coin is exquisite. We'll save it for last. This one I might have overpaid for. Um, from what I can tell, I got this right at what it's worth. Catalog. I don't like to pay retail for coins, but um, it's a quarter florin. Melt value about three bucks um, from the 1850s, I believe. But it's got some problems. And quite honestly yeah i got it for like i said about 13 bucks and i think we overpaid on this one 1860 though um it's just it's got some rim bruising um i don't know uh look at it. yeah it's like like some environmental damage going on here not really not really unless that's supposed to be that maybe that's actually I don't know I don't know I'll have them look at it I feel like I own one of these and it didn't look like that on the rims that's what I'm getting at but who knows what the milling technology they had back then because they do seem kind of distributed evenly throughout I gotta say though, I, I, not a, not necessarily. Look, if it's in uh, good enough condition, it's actually a fairly valuable coin. The thing is, I don't think it's in that good a condition. I think it's in worse condition than what I thought. But I, again, I'm not I'm not a ringer on this stuff. I'm not a coin grader. But I feel like I mean, look at this. I feel like that's post mint damage and I feel like that's problematic oh well I mean at 13 bucks you know we took a risk but this coin here is this is the the whole point of the purchase really um, let's see here I got uh, several uh, so yeah, 1895 is what I paid for the one you're about to see. 1495 is what I paid for the quarter florin. Uh, 
1860B, which is the more common of the two. And I paid $5.95 for the Groshen, the four Groshen. So that's actually fair. That's double melt, not triple like I thought. It's a little over double, but it's not as bad as I thought. This coin is really nice, but the melt value on it's only about $4. So keep that in mind. But uh, there you go. Fairly nice coin. Um, this is a 20 cruiser. Now, is it a legit 20 cruiser? Or is this thing made in a sand mold? Let's check it out. All right. So, for 1830, you got to admit, this is in uh, pretty decent shape. And the rim will tell you a lot. If you see... Uh, see, I'm going to have to check that because that rim looks a little sus to me. But I, again, I'm not an expert on this coin. And I, let me look at the fields. Nah, I don't think this is fake. I think it's real. I'd have to look at a rim example, but this coin seems to be in pretty decent shape. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't see any evidence that it's a sand mold copy. Um. The rim has that line down the middle, which can be a sign, but it looks like it's been machined. And actually, it looks like it has very little wear on it at all. On the edge, I mean. Well, we'll let the experts look at this. It's an 1830C uh, 20 Cruiser. And it's got some little, almost luster on it, it looks like. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, there's luster. There's definitely luster on this coin. Um, it's, you know, it's not ring around the rosies luster, but it's got some luster to it. Um, I don't know. I'll let my uh, old comrades at the, the experts look and see on the old uh, German silver discord. They'll be happy to see all this stuff. They, they live for this stuff. Um, very cool, very nice, very premier, very deluxe. And uh, I'm not going to try to make a, hobby, a habit of this. This is uh, Austrian, right? Um, this is uh, German state, Prussia. This is German state, Brandenburg, right? And then this is... Uh, Austrian as well so there we go and then we got our beautiful American Silver Eagle just above Mel uh, premium above Mel at this time uh, last time I checked was about two dollars and sixty cents not bad for an ASC and that's all I got for you guys um what do you guys think of these holders? Uh, H. E. Harris and Co. They've been doing it since 1916, guys. And I've never had a holder from H. E. Harris and Co. that I've ever noticed. So uh, if they've been doing it, I mean, have they been doing it right? <laughs> and then it says on the back, you know, if the seller had looked at the back, yeah, American Silver Eagle. Right there, guys. Right there. So. Um. 2020, man. I don't even know if I have a 2020 with a, a regular Eagle on it. I think that's the year they switched them to the uh, the Goofy Eagle on the back. Um, forgive me if you guys disagree. I mean, a lot of people don't care for that Eagle, but uh, what do I know, man? I'm just here for the party, you know? Um, 
If you liked uh, the video, uh, well, you know what to do. Uh, share it. Uh, comment. Tell me more. Uh, this was 31 on the dot because I know because I gave them an offer. Uh, they had it listed at 35. And, you know, I just put in an offer for 30. Uh, the shipping. I put in an offer at 28. I think it was, and the shipping was three. So they actually took an undermelt bid for this. But with shipping, it was 31. So, yep. 31 even. And some of the, it's real easy to remember when you got nice even bids, guys. That's what I'm going to tell you. This, uh, yeah, this coin is really nice. This cruiser. This is a, I really like that, uh, that Austrian double eagle. Uh, design. That's why I like those 1780 Tallers. You guys ever seen those with Maria Teresa on them? Um, definitely, if you can get those near melt, I, I say grab them all day. Uh, this coin's got really good details, but again, I don't I don't think that edge is up to muster. I think some there's some kind of environmental damage going on there. Um, but I'm going to let the cool kids look at it in that forum and they can tell me if that's a normal milling or some funky monkey bruising. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm not fond of it, I got to say, but uh, that's okay. Have a great day. And uh, if you're coming my way, make sure that you pay the toll, which is hit that like arrow thumbs up, you know what I'm saying, and uh, peace.